Hey guys, so as we know, we live in a century where social media is super prevalent. And so for our psychology class, we decided to do a study between uh, types of social media use, as in active and passive, and how it relates to uh, one's psychological well-being. And so we did a two-study um, experiment in our psychology class. Uh, study one was a correlation, and the issue of interest is basically just looking at how social media and types of social media use affects one's psychological well-being. And so for study one, um, our question or research idea that we focused on was to conceptually replicate uh, previous literature reviews and to see how social media use is related to psychological well-being. So how we did that was we created a survey um, and we sent it out on the link in all of our social media use uh, links and we had people um, open it and take a survey so they uh, consented. They did demographic survey saying their age, sex, um, first language, stuff like that. And then they did um, a survey on how often they use social media in a five uh, day period, I believe, where they said they either did it passively, which is just basically scrolling and looking at things, or actively where they like actively participated and liked and posted and retweeted and stuff like that. And we correlated that um, to when they took um, a survey on the Spain and SLE, which is like life satisfaction and positive and negative emotion. And we correlated and saw that active and passive social media use with positive, negative, and life satisfaction and found that there was a positive correlation between positive emotion and active social media use. And we kind of referenced this, so that if you post something about yourself that you're proud of and other people like it, then um, you like gain feedback and positivity. So that's why um, actively using social media use like that and posting things can give you a positive emotion. But we also found a negative correlation between life satisfaction and passive social media use which uh, we, well, I kind of um, had the idea that it kind of related um, to that we look at other, people, other people's use and just scroll and stuff passively, and that kind of like affects us negatively. Um, so that was our study one, and we found those two correlations. But then study two was more of an experiment, um, which our research question um, was to determine causality between social media use and well-being. Um, so we also um, ran the same type of experiment, but um, in the survey, they did the demographic survey, and then they were split up into three um, controls. One was to use passive uh, social media use, and then to use the second control was to actively use social media use, and the third control was a um, like a non-descriptive, so they just answered questions um, like it was a distractor. And we found that using the significant result was a 2 by 3 between subject ANOVA, and the biggest like significant result we found was that negative emotion had a significant interaction between gender and social media use. And so with that, um, we believe um, that depending on your uh, gender, so male or female, and um, the way you use active uh, social media use, whether actively or passively, it affects um, your well-being. And so the way that men and women use social media use either passively or actively causes changes in emotion. And so that's kind of like a basis of our experiment. It's kind of like dumbed down and summed up, but uh, we really just looked at the interaction and study one, the causality between social media use, how you'd use either actively or passively, and your life satisfaction. And then study two was more of an experiment where we uh, let participants get into controls of either using it passively, actively, or a distractor task and how that related to their social media use. Because after they did those tasks, they continued to do a Spain and a life satisfaction scale. And we found that um, there was a negative emotion having a significant interaction between uh, gender and social media. So um, you should check out our study. It was super interesting. And I think it's important that we realize this because a lot of people use social media use. And so people should realize that the way they use it, whether passively or actively, can affect their life satisfaction. So thank you.